What's going on everybody? David here. Today I'm coming to you from Colombia. So I'm in Sabaneta, Colombia. I want to talk a little bit about my video equipment, how I set everything up when I travel. This is one of those things I had to do trial and error for, for a while to figure this out. Uh, but this is usually what I use. It's really simple. Uh, I usually, I'll show you guys right here. Uh, so I bring these light stands with me and they pack nicely in, in a suitcase. So if you're checking your luggage, they're going to work. Uh, I use these lights here, and this is a Viltrox light, and I will post a link so you guys get all the information when it comes to uh, this light. The reason, there are a couple of reasons that I like the light, I like using these lights. Uh, I can adjust the uh, temperature here, as well as I can adjust the brightness. Uh, so depending on the environment that I'm in, I can uh, make those changes on the fly, and that really helps out a lot. Okay, so I have two of those. So I'll have a light here. Uh, and this is more of my key light. I'm sitting, if I'm sitting down right in this corner here of the couch, then I have this as my, as my, um, my 45 degree angle light. And then I have a feel light that's uh, behind my, uh, my, my uh, camera here. So this is the camera. So let me show you the camera setup really quickly. So camera setup, I'm usually using uh, the Panasonic G7. I will use the the Sony A7R3 on occasion, but I, I just I'm comfortable with this camera. I use it all the time for all of my my work when it comes to uh, shooting video. Now you see I'm not using a tripod. I'm just using a stool, and I put a towel on the top of the stool. Gives me a little more height, and then I have my camera there. Now I use battery banks, and this is a dummy battery that's inside here. So I'll post links to all this in the description so you guys can check it out uh, if you want to. But uh, yeah, I use I use a dummy battery and then I use a battery pack. The reason that I like to use a battery pack uh, as opposed to just plugging it directly into a wall is because I want to be able to move it around and not have to worry about plugs. Uh, and there's certain situations, as you can see right here, I have a, a plug coming from the entertainment uh, center area all the way up here and it just gets in the way. Okay, so ideally, another good thing about these lights is they, they run on batteries, so I can use batteries if I want to use that. Uh, but uh, for my camera, yeah, I will always use a power bank. This thing will last me all day. If I want to shoot eight hours continuously, have this thing on for eight hours, I can do that. So there's no problem when it comes to battery or battery life. Uh, so that's how I work it. Uh, as far as my audio, uh, when I'm using my audio, I'm usually using uh, this Ceramonic. I just got this, this mic. So it's either the Ceramonic mic or I'm using the Rode Wireless Go system. This is brand new for me. I'm really liking uh, using this because if I'm shooting an interview, uh, it works really well because you have, it has dual, uh, dual uh, what do you call them, transmitters. So you have the dual transmitters here and this is what I use uh, for interviews. So if you saw a video I just put out, I was at a fruit, uh, a fruit market, a fruit market, <laughs> I use this and uh, if you guys check my other channel out, you'll see that, that video that where I was at the fruit market. But uh, the sound is really good coming out of these, these, little, uh, these, these little devices. I'm liking the way that they're setting these things up now. Uh, this is, uh, let, me, let me, I'll do a quick little talk about, a little, I don't want to say a review, but just a little talk about this. Um, this is just like the Rode Wireless Go in a sense that it has a mic. So it has a mic up top here, and then you can also hook in... Uh, a lav mic if you want to do that. So this is this is really an excellent setup. I really like it. Uh, it goes you know, like I said, it goes with this, and then you can have two, so you can use one for each um, each of the people that you're uh, recording. So that's good. So that is pretty much my setup. I just wanted to show you that really quickly. Now, as far as packing these away, as you can see, they're very very thin. It's like a medium pizza, I guess, <laughs> as far as the size. Uh, depending on how big a medium is uh, where you live. But uh, what I do is I will put this inside of my luggage. I usually use packing cubes. So I just put my clothes in there and then I put this on top of the clothes and it, and it works It works well. Now, uh, the beauty of this light is that it is not direct. So these LEDs are bouncing off the inside of of the of the panel here so you can use these without a soft box and still get some relatively soft light so that's that's what's important so i don't have to bring an extra soft box for both of the lights if i don't want to i can just use these and the light is soft enough that uh that it's it's 
it's still it, it's usable usable footage okay it's not harsh light so i like that and uh, that's pretty much all i use like i said uh, i do use a ceramonic and i'll show you here so if you guys don't know what the road wireless go looks like uh, here's my road wireless go uh, this is the receiver and then i have the transmitter uh, in here so i'll use this as well i'll use this when it's just me but uh, when i do have uh, two people I'll use a ceramonic, uh, what is it, Blink 500. And I also have a hair light in the back here. And this is a Sokani, uh, let's see, there. there you go, the Sokani, that's what I'm using uh, to get that, that hair light. Now these work really well because they pack away really nicely. They're about the size of a deck of cards, uh, very thin. So I just thought I might mention that. Now you have the three-point lighting, so you have... Uh, the uh, main light, you have a fill light in the corner over here, and then you have your uh, hair light back there. So that's what, that's what you should be looking at. Okay, so global entry, I always bring this card with me. It's an additional ID, so I have my passport, and I never take my passport out of my hotel or out of my Airbnb. I usually uh, keep it there in a safe place, and then I will make a photocopy of that passport and bring that with me. So it's always good to have uh, another form of ID, and that's the reason that I have that global entry uh, card, just so it's a, it's a government-issued ID, and if anyone asks me questions or anything like that, I can always show them that, as well as my birth certificate. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that really quickly. If you guys, I want to know what your setup is. So if you guys are traveling and you want to shoot videos, how do you set everything up? What type of lights do you use? What camera? All that. Post it down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.